friends welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new today's video is just going to be a clean with me around the house my husband was working in the kitchen he was going through our spice cabinet um, so you'll kind of see me talking back and forth to him um, my younger ones were helping me today b3 and b4 <clears throat> and if you're new to the channel and don't know why we have four boys and they all their names start with b so that's usually how we kind of call them or even our pastor will call them b1 b2 b3 b4 so that's how i refer to them on our channel so they were helping me today because this is a lot of their stuff that come out of their backpacks i had had them clean their stuff out he's asking me about a spice right here so i had to kind of tell him about that we cleaned their backpacks out and then i had washed them um this we love this table uh it was a great investment but it is a catch-all. Um, that and our island both, they tend to want to hold everything that comes through the back door. Um, so I'm gonna go here and just use my Thieves Cleaner um, to clean off our table. If you notice the top of my table, the garnish is beginning to come off. This was a name brand table. We put a lot of money into this table and I'm very disappointed with how the top of the table is doing it has not held up very well um, I do plan on sanding it and painting it the color of my choice it's probably gonna be real light with maybe a gray touch to it um, but yeah I'm kind of disappointed with how that the top has been but we love the table overall I would like to get some different kind of chairs for it eventually but that'll be somewhere in the future uh, we're moving into our living room here. Um, the goal in the future is to get a new sectional. This is actually our 17 year old sectional. It's supposed to be upstairs in his room, uh, but the couch and love seat we had just had better days. So we moved this one from upstairs downstairs. Um, and the pillows that come with it initially were all different kind of colors so I pulled them off and so I just have different throw pillows um, on it right now I'm using my Dyson v7 animal to vacuum our couch um, I've talked a lot about my different vacuums that I've got I've got the Dyson v7 which I'm not even sure you can even find it anymore I know you can still find accessories for it but I have not been able to find the vacuum itself um, I got this one years and years ago and it has done me well it was definitely worth its money um, I've got it an Orfeld vacuum that I've got from Amazon I usually link it in the bottom of my description but you can always go to Ana uh, Amazon and just look up Orfeld and I think they're running 129 right now I am not affiliated I don't have any affiliate links not sponsored I do love that vacuum as well and I also have a corded shark it's not one of the first ones I grab, but the suction is great on carpet. It does have like the roller brush and then the vacuum. So it's great on hardwood and on carpet. And then I do have my rainbow. My last video I, I showed it. So that's the ones I've got. Um, picking up some stuff out of the floor. Um, my husband had been sick over Christmas. Um, this was after Christmas. So I was picking up um, the nebulizer. My 17 year old had asthma at one time he had outgrown it our youngest he goes back and forth from having croup and then my husband um he usually gets bronchitis usually once a year so we usually keep a nebulizer with nebulizing treatments on hand uh, comes b3 trying to dance around um so we trying to keep them on hand i'm gonna go here with my tenco back mop Y'all, this is one thing that I am so thankful. Whoever come up with it, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is probably, if I had to do away with everything else in my home and keep one thing, it would be this. Um, this is my go-to. I grab this and I, I make sure all of the big stuff is out of the floor. Make sure, you know, like bread ties or big chunks of anything has been dropped. I always, you know, make sure it's out of the way but this is the holy grail of everything this is my favorite cleaning appliance thus far um i did have a tenco vacuum i had it for one day it started showing some weird lights and i took it back so 
not long after that, I decided just to go ahead and do the vac mop. I've got it. Um, the only issue I've ever had with it, my charger went out with it and I thought the whole thing was messed up. I did get in touch with Tenco. They sent me out a new charger and it fixed the problem. Um, so I love it. I usually use um, Mr. Gain, the pet kind. I think it's orange. Um, I do have the solution that runs through it and I do make sure my I clean it after every use. I honestly clean it two or three times while I'm using it because if there's hair on the floor, I go through, you don't have to, and I, I just make sure the, ma the machine's cleaned out. Because it is a good investment, it is, it's not the m most expensive and it's definitely not the cheapest, so that is, I had to buy it myself, so I definitely do not want it tearing up. So I do clean it quite a bit. Um, it does have a spot mode, so while you're cleaning if there is something and I'm also using my house shoe here you can see me rubbing it off the floor that you can turn spot mode on and it just kicks in a little bit extra power and kind of helps um, it's super quick like I said you know if you want to sweep before you use this you can but this is a vac mop it does everything for you and I absolutely love it like I said if I had to get rid of everything else and keep one thing it definitely would be this no, I'm not affiliated, and I'm not sponsored, but I do live by this one. So this was already after the new year. Um, we had not even, we did not even decorate this year, y'all. Um, we have a small cat that every time I turned around, she was in the middle of the tree. Um, and I do have a lot of glass ornaments. We go every year and have one um, personalized, and I have several of those. And was so afraid to put them up this year um, so I didn't even decorate and to be completely honest and transparent I didn't feel too much of the Christmas spirit this year I don't know if it was just our weather the way it was feeling so hot but I have spoke to others and you know people around me that you know said that as well said that they just didn't feel Christmassy but we did everything we could to make it enjoyable for the boys and y'all I apologize I'm looking like a hot mess I just decided to stay in my pajamas today that's how I was feeling but that's okay that's real life sometimes usually this is how it is on the weekends um you know that's especially with the weather being in now this we're snowed in now going on three days um that's the way the weather is right now in northeast Mississippi um we're looking at very very low temperatures sun's out it's kind of melting but they're talking about it refreezing so anyway um, if you remember the ice storm back in 94 leave me comments below I was 10 that year um, so I do remember it very very well my husband I'm older than my husband he was seven that year he does remember it as well um, but I can remember that being the worst storm that we've ever had and every time they talk about ice storms it honestly just throws horrible flashbacks back so if y'all remember that, leave me comments below. So we're taking down our Christmas tree. Um, we've had this Christmas tree <laughs> for a long time. Y'all, I flocked this tree right after we moved into this house about two years ago, and it's coming off. So that's why you see so many particles flying, and it's it was so dusty. Um, and this tree is several, several years old. I'm gonna say a good 10, 11 years old. It was, it's a pre-lit tree. It's got several different settings on it. And it has by far been the best Christmas tree ever. I would love to get a pencil tree to go into the corner of the dining room, uh, but I just have not gotten any. I have not gotten it yet. I have not let myself buy one, but I, I would like to get that. Um, so here I'm asking my husband to come help me. I eventually got it, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and we are putting them in the red bags. I don't remember if we got these at Lowe's or at Walmart. But these have been such a huge help. I cannot, I couldn't get them into like a, a basket or even back into the box. So these have been a huge, huge help. Um, and then we'll pull everything together and then our big ones will come downstairs and they will, they'll help us get everything pulled back up, upstairs into the attic. You can see it's going everywhere. Um, it wasn't bad. It had not been that bad until we had started trying to pull the tree down but that's the way it is um right after i had flocked it it did look really great it was really really thick 
really covered but just the moving you know taking it in out of the box the cats going around us playing with it trying to get it decorated we just knocked it off all I did was took two cans of the fake snow I took it out in our garage and just did a couple of layers of it Like it is, and open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. So, I wanted to bring a quick word and some encouragement to y'all today. The scripture comes from Philippians 4 and 11, and it says, Not that I speak from want, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I am. And what it's saying in this, this is where Paul was talking about that he can be content whether he's abased or he's abound, whether he's in good or he's in bad. Um, that comes out of a, like a devotional that I have that I read every day. Um, this... I'm going to read out of the New King James Version. Uh, it's much easier to understand and to read than the King James. Um, so I have this version and several other versions as well. We have study Bibles. The kids have Bibles. But this one is coming out of the New King James. And it says in Philippians 4 and 11, Not that I speak in regard to need. For I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to be, to be abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I did a study and I researched what abased and abound means and it talks about when you are be an abased you are as low as you can get you are low and then when you are bound you are overflowing and here Paul had already gone from Saul he had had a major switch a major change God had really worked in him already and he's talking about no matter what situation that he's in that he can be content and sometimes as humans as flesh as our flesh we're all the time saying well I'll be happy when I'll be happy then or I'll be happy and God doesn't want us to be that way he wants us to be content and wherever and whatever we are going through sometimes it may not feel good but sometimes God has to use those times to prune us to take things off of us that we cannot carry on I know and y'all can see I'm being <laughs> they're throwing ornaments at me um when we lived in the small house we had I kept telling myself oh I'll be happy when we get a bigger house and I'll have more room and to be honest guys we we miss our small house we miss the closeness we had uh I miss that it didn't take me all day sometimes to clean the house um but, you know, for a long time I prayed, and I prayed that if it was God's will, that he would bless us, you know, with another home, and he did, and we are beyond blessed to be, you know, to be where we are. And even though we've moved and we've gotten a bigger house, um, we still have problems, you know, no matter where we are, even when you level up, you're still going to have responsibilities, you're still going to have things you have to do in that area. Um, you know, we have problems with finances. We had a, a big issue here lately come up, and we were to the point, you know, we were like, okay, no eating out, no extras. You know, we're going to get our stuff for lunches we had to take it. You know, we had to literally nickel and dime things. And somehow, by the grace of God himself, my husband usually does our finance book he called me and he said amber he said we have this much money extra in our account he said i don't know where it came from i mean he called his mom who works at the bank you know we were going through making sure we hadn't missed anything you know when we were you know we made sure okay did all of our tithes go through did we tithe like we needed to is there a bill we're missing or something he said no he said it was just a blessing from god that we had a little bit of extra money that you know we were able to get groceries that week without having to do okay you know it's just bread and meat this week you know no matter where we are 
you know it's still going to be it right now it's just hard in general for anybody um so i just want to give you a positive affirmation and a positive word today that no matter where you are everything happens for a reason everything has a season and this too shall pass um we all go through hard times. We all go through great times. You know, sometimes we feel like we are at the bottom of the valley, and there's sometimes we feel like we are on top of that mountain. And praise God, because we learn, and we learn how to adapt, and we learn how to be happy in doing so. And like I said, go back and read the scripture. It's in Philippians 4 and 11, and it's talking about just how to be happy whether you're low or you're high because y'all that was the funny part i don't know what was going on with b3's expressions <laughs> but that was funny um i just want you guys to challenge y'all to no matter what you may be going through um let me take a break and show you right here i handmade these ornaments i bought the little wood things at dollar general i had some black paint i got the cord the beads I put them all together and just hand lettered our names on them um, so my challenge for y'all no matter where you are find happiness find, think of the positive things that you guys have joy is something that comes from God happiness really depends on circumstances sometimes we look at our circumstances and we were like well this circumstance isn't good I'm not gonna be happy but the way the Bible talks and he, he teaches, we're supposed to be full of joy no matter what we are going through. Um, so that's my challenge to you right now <laughs> to be transparent. Y'all, we have been snowed in for three days and I'm going stir crazy. I am so ready to get out of this house, but our, our roads are frozen. But to be joy and to be happy, we're all together. We're having, you know, these memories will last with us forever. Everybody's happy. Everybody's well right now. So that is my joy. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to add some essential oils to my diffuser. Um, I'm actually in search for some new oils. Usually I just use the Now brand from Amazon, um, but I'm in search of some good oils. So if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Um, again, I've been chatty through it all. And if that's something that you like, let me know. Um, if you would like another video of this where I'm just, you know, cleaning, music, y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, thank y'all so much for hanging with me and being with me. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.